Uh, okay, I'm attempting to go live again. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. It says I'm live. Let's see if it's lying. Yeah, lawn chairs, their carpet. Am I am I live for you now? Hello? Am I good? Am I here on Twitch? Good. Yes. Can I get a thumbs up? Thumbs down? Thumb in the middle. Where can I put my thumbs? I'm assume down. Oh, on Twitch I'm good. Okay, that's that's all I'm asking. Yeah, no. What I was saying earlier is that uh, I I restarted my router and see if that had to do with it. And if that doesn't still get on Steam, then I'm just gonna. Just gonna do Twitch and figure out the Steam stuff later because it's being dumb. Oh uh, yeah, Twitch is recording. Yeah. I changed my settings after last time because that I lost my last stream to the recording. I'm not doing that again, so we'll be able to I'll post I'll be able to post this on YouTube afterwards. For anyone who could not watch it. not look like Steam is going to cooperate. Okay, so how's the quality now though? How's the quality on Twitch? Is the quality okay? Because if not, then I'll just go back to what I was doing before for it. I may actually move around stuff in Oz so you can see. Oh, not that. Like, is the stream quality okay? You can see me moving around and stuff. Yeah, no, Steam's just being dumb. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna actually leave it up and hope it streams. And then if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. It's fine. I'm just not gonna look at it. So it's fine. Um, Okay, let me send out the post, say that I'm live on Twitch. And then we're gonna start. So. I definitely clicked the start button on Steam. <laughs> definitely, definitely hit the start button. I, I would hope I do that, but. Um. 
All right, so. All right, friends. Um, so if you're here, you probably already know, but uh, might as well say. Uh, Operation Zeta has come out today, which is our uh, third game that we've made. And um, I think it's pretty fun. It's based off of our first game, uh, Inevitability, which has fun space animals and space lore and stuff. So basically the, the main plot of Operation Zeta is that we were in a big battle. Um, you don't necessarily know what the battle was fought for yet because um, that's in-game war stuff. But uh, yeah, so you're in that battle and you lost and your ship got destroyed in that battle. So what you have to do is you have to go collect your parts and rebuild your ship before the enemy death laser fires and um, kills you in the system. And um, yeah, so you just got to find the parts. It's all randomly generated and you got 10 minutes until the death laser fires and then you can... As you do more and more runs, you can uh, you get these upgrades and stuff to upgrade your your future runs to do better and stuff. Um, and this is an early access as well, so we have a bunch more plans for more upgrades and that kind of stuff. So yeah, we're just gonna hop into it. This is a fresh save, so I haven't done anything on this yet. So we're starting at the base. So we start with the human race. So we'll start with them. Oh no, it appears our ship has crashed. Collect the parts and bring them here. I will repair them. Be quick about it though. The enemy death laser is about to fire. Right. Um, I'm actually going to play with the controller because I like playing with the controller. The game supports full controller. So yeah, basically now we got to fly around and find ship parts. So we can go check out that planet over there. I look. Oh wow! So we got a spare part right here, and there's also a quest right there. So this was a good plan to land on. So yeah, we get the part. We want to bring it back to our ship. And we just snap it into place that we just slowly build a ship and you can see the timer in the top right as well i don't know why i'm pointing at the screen there you can't see that pointy um but so this guy wants five iron so we gotta go find five iron also we want to get these pickups along the way too because they do things like boost our max health and that kind of stuff that's really good to have so we will have to come back to this quest when we have more iron. Yeah, so all these all these planets are just randomly generated and stuff. So like there's little snakes with them. Um, oh, so this is a radar pack that'll point us to the part. I think it's pointing us at the one we just found though, so that's not very helpful. There's little snakes on this planet here. There's some yellow. Oh, there's some iron. We got three of it there. So we're gonna go check out that planet now over there. Also, anyone in the chat, feel free to ask me any questions or anything that you're curious about what you can or can't do in Operation Zeta or anything, or like what I had for lunch, like anything. I don't, I don't care, honestly. Maybe I'm on Steam, who knows? If I'm on Steam, I'm sorry I can't see your chat. So. Uh, I think we have enough iron now, so we want to go back to that purple planet is where the iron was. Which I believe is... Oh, it's not where the air is pointing. The air is pointing to a different one, so that's helpful. So yeah, this this thing wanted iron. Oh, yeah, and you see. And we got a token there at the top two. Uh, those tokens can be spent, since we completed a quest, those tokens can be spent to do upgrades for us in the future. What did I have for lunch? Well, Italian gummy boy. What I had for lunch was um, a good friend of mine brought me some cookout today because I've been at my computer because of the launch. So, um, also thank you for saying the game looks nice. Here's a nice quest. Oi, name Sawyer. I wrangle Sapthers, but they got loose. Take them out before they hurt someone. So this is Sawyer the Saptor Wrangler. Um, Saptors are space raptors. You can see them hopping around here. So we'll have to take them out. There's quite a few of them, so we don't want to really, um, <laughs> we don't want to get a big fight here, but I'm gonna throw a grenade in there and it works. They're pretty quick. We got that guy. Um, so big inspiration for, let me kill this after real quick. No, that's right. um, so big inspiration for um, 
the universe in general was FTL. Like I, I played a lot of FTL, and I really saw that was like a cool indie dev who did well with like a space genre, and it made me really excited about it. So that's what really got me onto the doing space games and stuff. Also, I really like space stuff. So I totally missed that guy with the grenade. Okay. Oh. Okay, we got him. Good game. Here's your. Sh oh, dang it. I thought I fixed that bug. There's a bug with that quest that sometimes messes up the game. Okay, so we're gonna have to restart. I could've swore I fixed that bug, but I guess I didn't. Well, that's why it's early access on day one, so it's okay. Just know if we get the sap request again, we gotta skip it. Hello, Draven. So, okay, now where do we want to start off now? Let's go ahead and get the upgrades on the main planet. That's a good idea. Um, oh, there's another radar pack. Cat collar. So we know where three of the parts are, so we should do really well this run, actually. If we don't crash the planets like that, but... There's another snake. Which one was I heading towards? I forget. Okay, well, if we get this, we'll know where all four of the parts are. Okay, we know where all four are now. We'll stick to this arrow here. Okay, so this one is... Oh, this one is Flax and Jackson. Name's Flax and Jackson. I need you to protect me while I jam out and recharge my batteries to get back to the party planet, bruh. The music is so wicked it brings back the dead. So as you can see, there's dead on the people on this planet. This is actually a, a Patreon uh, requested quest. So someone who's on my Patreon was like, hey, yeah, I want to have a guy who brings skeletons back with his sick jams. I'm like, okay, we can do that. That's the inspiration for this quest here. Let's get some iron too in case we have another iron quest or something. Wicked awesome, bro. Here's part of your ship. Thank you, Flaxen. Back. It took us probably a little bit more time than it should have, but it's fine. We got plenty of time. Because um, the first run's always going to be pretty hard, right? Because you don't have any boosters for anything, really. There's some repair packs. Let's remember they're here. Also, we probably want to find something to unlock a new race as well for this run. So we'll look around for that. The front are really fun and I'm really bad at them. So they could be fun to play if we find them. Oh, so this actually is a character unlock right here that we can get. So we need some rocks and we need some blue. That's actually the character unlock for Slugula right there. Okay. So that's on this blue planet here. So we'll remember that. The slime looking guys are uh, called globs. They are a, um, they're, they're similar. It's so a lore rise. They're similar to or similar to the um, the Slugula, they're just like um, a less evolved version of them, essentially. So like think like chimpanzees to people. Oh, I'm 
I'm gonna die. Oh, I died. I'm bad at this. <laughs> Took me a while to figure out left trigger icon there and stop your ship from moving. It was very handy when I did. Yes, this is true. Yeah. Um, originally, when we were uh, developing it, we didn't have that left trigger uh, to stop it. And um, you just had to slam into the planet, essentially, to stop yourself. And um, a lot of people who were testing it were like, okay, this, this, this is hard. So we're like, okay, we should add a stop function. So that's actually a later addition to the game. But I think it was very helpful. Oh, the cage key. So that means that we might have the Uka in here. So let's go over there. Because we didn't find anything useful. We were less lucky this run. Because we had like four radar packs in the main planet last time where we knew where everything was. Now we don't. Oh, oh no. <laughs> We almost lost our ship there. I was trying to jump out to get that uh, the blue, the blue ore. It's not good to be too far from your ship because you're running out of oxygen. Thanks, Griver. Happy to see you drop by. You were doing much better than um, than than I am currently. I found a quest. Ooh. So actually, the Annihilators, they're, they're fun lore. I don't want to spoil um, future lore, but the Annihilators have a lot of really fun lore behind them. Um, I also, they got a little bit of a buff before the update. Then I'm a little scared to fight them. So, um, wait, you could lose the game if the ship fly away? So if I was away from my ship and I didn't have um, a way to get my oxygen back... It, I would have to chase it down right before I ran out. Took me a minute to get a hang of controls, but I learned quickly. <laughs> yeah, no, you figured it out. I'm really scared to shoot this guy because he's going to shoot me right away again. Oh, I got him. Okay. That almost killed me, though. Yeah, I, being a game developer does not make me good at video games. So I'm, I'm not super great at, like my own games even though i have so many hours in playing my own games i'm actually pretty terrible at it so okay so we explored let's go straight up okay that guy almost killed me we got two health left here i was thinking that it was gonna be too easy on the stream and i was just gonna like beat the whole game really quickly, but then I realized I'm not actually that good at this game. Oh, so it must be over here. Oh, that's a boss fight. This one should be easy though. I, my flying skills were dreadful to start with too. It was a lot of fun though. I had to laugh at myself on trying to control it. <laughs> yeah, no, it could, it could be fun. I actually have um, some cool quest plans that are gonna, like a new kinds of quests that involve the gravity physics a lot more. That that should be fun. Those will be coming pretty soon. So. Or if there's gonna be some speed run in this game, how much would it take? <laughs> um, so actually, Funny you say that we have plans in the near future to have... It, it was going to be for launch, but we had to scrub it due to time constraints. Um, but it's going to come still. So we're going to have leaderboards like per uh, race to see who has the fastest times on it and such. Because that's actually... Um, it's not that hard to do. And we did it with rekindling too with the leaderboard system. So it's not new stuff. Let's go to this planet over here. I think it was Griver. Griver, you beat a game in like, um, it's like under five minutes almost, I think. You're still here. Oh, oh we got it, dude. There we go. 
Sweet. So we can play as Ukin next. Ukin are a little harder. We gotta make sure we beat human first, though. Yeah, because we might not even beat human. We're not on track three right now. So what's with Florbo? Florbo is the the best um, the best character because um, he's Florbo. Florbo has a deep and rich lore as well. Yeah, I'm actually looking to look forward to the leaderboards part. Yeah, no, it should be exciting. Um, it's either going to be the next update or the update after that. So with it, it'll be within the next month that we get that. That's pretty high on our list. Ooh, there's a part here. There's two parts here because we can do this one. It's a puzzle. Easy. Okay. Got to remember how to do these puzzles. Also, we have um, some fun plans with making these puzzles more complex and interesting, too. It's pointing to one of these, so let's hope it's, yeah, it's not one of those. Great. So we'll know how to get back there. We should beat it this time, though. Yeah, we we're going to beat it. That's the last part we need. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so now we need some repair packs. We got three minutes left. Uh, there's some over there. I'm sad we got the. I like the Ukin, but I wanted to play the Trump Tar because I'm really bad at them and they're fun to play. Because they shoot like. Um, well, you guys will see later when we get to it. I don't want to spoil it. Or any of your animals in the game as cameos. It's actually, I have my cat, Louie. He has a couple quests that he can give out. Just noticed your stream and I was heading to bed. I just wanted to say hi and good luck with your launch day. Have a good stream. Looking forward to future updates. Thank you, man. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I appreciate you playing it. Thanks for dropping by. Sweet, so we're gonna beat the human here. Okay, we got it. What was that, the third try, I think? We got 34 credits now, too, so. Um, how many repair kits do you need? One per part? So uh, you need, um, a repair kit will repair, repair one tier uh, for your whole ship. So you typically wanna wait till the end because it will repair one tier for all the parts that are currently there. And each part has three tiers of repair it needs to go through. I think we need the laser delay because I need more time. Probably the health. The ship bomb's really fun. I probably should save up for that. Because ship bomb really changes how you do a lot of interactions too, which is fun because you just drop a bomb on planets. But it can, it can be dangerous because when you start dropping bombs on your ship, things will aggro on your ship instead of just you. And um, it can it can it can be messy because your ship has less health than you a lot of the time, especially when you get more upgrades. So the Ukin, for those of you who don't know, have pretty fun um, backstory lore from Inevitability. They're they're like they're my favorite race in Inevitability and um, Operation Zeta. Basically, the the lore behind the Ukin is that they are a a failed experiment on a human outpost. Um, to try to like genetically engineer um, apes to be smarter and more capable. And basically they thought the experiment failed and they left the planet full of these monkeys that they had the experiment with. And after, over hundreds of years, they, they forgot about the planet. They didn't worry about it anymore. And then eventually one day they start getting signals from the planet and they have to investigate it. And that's how they first met the Ukin who had become very aware and had started reverse engineering the technology that humans left behind. So they have really fun lore. And I, I want to do a lot more games that explore the lore of the Ukin behind and stuff, but I really like them. So this one's a bit harder. We might not be able to beat it in time because I'm bad, but we'll see. Because <laughs> experimenting on apes has never gone wrong in gaming or movies. 
Yeah, <laughs> pretty much that. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good trope, but it's just, it just not a good idea to do. Just don't do it. Hope there's a big rock guy on this planet. Kill it! Mr. Snail Guy. So the Snail Guy actually was originally going to be a playable race, but then I, I figured he was too cute, that, so I didn't make him a playable race. Alright, this guy might be a hard fight. Oh. Oh. Oh! Okay, okay. Oh, jeez. I... Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So what's the point of roguelikes, right? It's to die a lot, so. Just giving you guys the full uh, roguelike experience of a lot of deaths. No, I was, I was coming in real confident um, after watching uh, your stream the other day, Driver, because I'm like, wow, he's just tearing this game up. <laughs> but... It was foolish of me. Well, this is a fun quest, too. Hey, weird request. There are skeletons around, and I kind of want their skulls. Can you go get them for me? I'll give you part of your ship. Okay. I like the skeletons because they don't shoot back at me, so. And they don't have that much health either. Because they're skeletons. Although, I'll still find a way to die to them. Yes, my collection shall grow. Sweet. Oh, that wasn't even the one that we had on radar either, so that's good. Oh, see, so now they requested for me. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That was dumb. Oh, that was dumb. Oh. I could start killing them, too. I'm going to die again. Okay, there's a max health upgrade. I need that. Okay, next upgrades are going to go into max health. Because I clearly need that the most. Yeah, background on website testing makes it easy to chip games, chip away at games. Alright. That makes sense. Oh. Okay, good. The snake killed him. Well, that was a fun interaction that um, the Annihilator shot the snake and then they killed each other. So we're missing... In... No, I think we got him all, actually. Oh, that snake was after me! Dang it. You died. Maybe I should play the humans more? and then get more upgrades. I'll try one more time with the Ukin, and if I keep dying, I'm just gonna switch back to the humans until I get more upgrades. Maybe get the ship bomb, that might be helpful. Okay, yeah, max health. Okay, we're doing we're doing a lot better this run so far. Just started, but we're doing a lot better. Oh. So this is oh, this is the quest to unlock the front tar. So we can get this repair pack. Sweet. So yeah, now next next playthrough we can do the front tar. Although uh, the front tar are harder than the Ukin, so maybe we shouldn't. But I think we're gonna do it anyways. Yeah, I've I've a, I've a, like at least like six different races that I want to add. So I'm gonna add a lot more races to this game. 
Please bring me three souls of my Sput brothers. I will give you the ship part I found. Okay. Well, sorry, buds. I gotta kill you. I started going a little fast there. I almost left the planet. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, got that. Yes, I can feel them. Okay, okay. Got that part. Oh, so here's Louie. Meow, meow, meow. Red crystal. Meow, now. So Louie is there. That's that's my cat, Louie. You want red crystals? Yeah, we did. There's Louie. Oh, there's radar packs there. Let's get those. There's some red. Wait. That top arrow is Louie. Oh. Oh, this one's Louie. Never mind. Oh, this is a Saptor quest. Okay, so we can we can complete the Saptor quest without crashing the game, I'm pretty sure. I'm um, just gonna be tricky about it. I thought I had fixed it, but I'll, I'll fix that after this stream. But we have enough red now, that's good. So we can do Louie. Oh, come on, there you go, okay. Got that scepter. Both of those snakes are mad at me. Go to upgrade our, our scepters. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no, pew pew pew. Okay, okay. I should just kill these snakes, they're, they're, they're not okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so, oh, he got hit, okay. Oh, oh, I have plenty of health though. So if we just, if we exit the quest text is what's crashing it. So if you exit the quest text, it'll go out quicker, but. Okay, we're okay. Oh, we have a chance here. Okay, we got four more. We know where two, three of them are. It's like Pac-Man, but in the circle, I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> Oh, he wanted blue. Okay, so there must be two Louis quests. Oh, okay, maybe that's why I saw Louis twice. There must be. Yeah, right now there's about 30-ish different uh, quests in the game. Um, definitely want like far over 100 by the time we go to four rivers. We only have one more, or do we have two? More? We have two more. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, here's Florbo. Hello, Florbo. Hey, I found this ship part. I think it's yours. I give it to you if you could find me a fuel crate nearby. A fuel crate, not a food crate. Um, let's see if we can find that. Might be some over here. That's a food crate. It's another food crate. So it's not here. We could go ahead and go ahead and oh, we could go ahead and look at the other part and hope we find it along the way. I think that's the plan. Ooh, I just almost flew straight in that planet. Oh, it's the same guy. Okay. So we actually wait. Was this the same, or did we just get two floor bows? Oh, that'd be crazy. Oh, no, it's different.
Where's the Florbo merch? <laughs> you know, that's an idea. Like, get that Florbo love going. I really don't know how I feel about the cult of personality that's forming around Florbo with people. Okay. Oh, there's a feel crate there. Louis has one. So let's go over there. Ooh, we're actually going to beat this. Oh, if we go quick, we can get Roki unlocked too. Oh, that would be that would be such a good run if we get that. Thank you so much, Florbo. Oh, it's gonna be close. Okay, where's the repair pack? Oh, there's one right here. Okay, we're gonna need that one. Oh, we're not gonna get it. Um, you get Roki when you beat it under five minutes. Slight spoiler. Gonna be, we were so close though. If we would have had one more upgrade on time, we would have got it. All right, we beat the Ooh. I'm not terrible. I could do it. All right, so I probably want that max HP boost. Let's just pump it all into that because it clearly can't stay alive. Have you noticed any typos in the game? Um, yes, I actually have. I have, I, there's probably, I'm sure there's some in here. Um, I, I fixed all the ones I know about, so. Okay, so now we have the front tar. Um, if you see any typos while I'm doing it, while I'm playing, please let me know, because I am an, that is that is my, um, my biggest weakness is spelling. I'm not good at spelling, so. Which I feel bad, right? Because like, <laughs> I feel like this is the grades quality of the game, but it's fine. Um, spell, the gameplay is great, so that's all that matters, right? At least I think it's great. So, okay, we're gonna play the Fromtar now. The Fromtar are interesting. So, the, yes, these are the Fromtar. So, the Fromtar are a really fun race. So the Fromtar aren't actually the trees. The trees aren't alive. Um, there's a very, very small uh, fairy-like creature that is what the actual Fromtar are. And they're very natural and spiritual, um, but they're only like a couple inches tall. So they're tiny. And to be able to interact with other things on a large scale, um, because all other races are significantly larger than them, they possess trees to be just overwhelmingly large. Like they just possess the tree and they give it um, ability to move around. And when they're done with the trees, they root them back in place and they just possess them and use them to their will. So yeah, that's the Fromtar. They're, they're a fun, interesting race. So cool thing with the Fromtar is their special ability is <laughs> Fromtar is a weird way to spell Swole Boy. I mean, they're pretty pretty, pretty beefy. They're definitely the biggest. Um, so, the, the thing with the Fromtar is they hate um, they hate the destruction of anything, So and they're very spiritual. So, through pure spiritual energy they can manifest things. They can turn energy into matter. So, their special ability is they randomly generate an item every minute and a half when you play as them. Their attacks are pretty tricky to use too. So once we get into combat, you guys will see that. I need a chew toy. Please get me some slime balls. I can chew toys. I can chew those, right? Yes, you can chew slime balls. So as you see, that, that's how they attack, is they shoot that little mortar out, and then, and then it comes back down. So it can be kind of tricky to hit things with. We're not hurt yet. We don't need that. Keep 
needs to be a person? It's not. We got another crate. There you go. Okay, so we go down to here. Oh, we might not beat this run. Some pizza. So I'm looking for the globs because they would they are what drops the slime balls. toward these arrows that we have now. I think I want to um I think I want to increase the amount of damage you take from hitting planets. Cuz that would make it more interesting. Cuz I've seen a lot of people just slam into planets as well. Oh. It's really hard to play the front tar before you have any laser upgrades cuz the combat can be really slow and difficult. Like this is going to be really hard to kill these annihilators. Bet you I can do it though. Let's see what we get here. We got blue sea from the random. Okay. I think they're too short, and if I just jump, they can't get me. Oh, this is great. Never mind. Maybe, maybe I know how to play these guys better than uh, the other ones. Oh, that rock guy came out of nowhere. Oh, I thought he was gonna mess me up. Oh, woo! That wasn't fun. Here's part of your ship. All right, thank you. That that guy's name is actually. Um, I think that one is Friendo. There's Friendo and Buddyo. Um, they're they're a pair. They have some fun lore too. I'm not gonna spoil it, but they have some fun lore. There's a future quest type that's gonna revolve around them. Ooh, we have that. Yeah. Ooh, oh, we got a Louis quest. It's Louie in his perch. He is in his perch. I don't know if you guys can see it on the stream, but my cat is he's in the window. You can't see it from the blinding light, but that's that's who this character is based off of. Oh, look at that. There's some blue crystals right in front of me, too. How lucky of me. I swear that wasn't developer hacks. But you'll take it. Do you want it? Come on, man. That might be bugged because Louis should definitely be accepting these for me. That might be a bug. Okay, well, we'll come back to that and see if we can figure that out. This is what early access is for, friends. Okay, you want the slime balls. Yeah, see, that should kill you, in my opinion. Not kill you necessarily, but do more than one damage. I think that should give you like two damage, maybe three. We get another quest here. What we got here? Hello, friend. I could use some more solids in my body. Please go murder some golems and bring them back to rocks. Okay. Oh. Oh, jeez. Come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Just fire mortars into the crowd. We'll be okay. There we go. There we go. Oh. 
Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I told you, the tree people are hard. They just, I mean, you throw a rock at a tree, it's not going to have a good time. Okay, we got some upgrade points that time, though. We got a couple. We, nothing, we can't afford anything, though, so it's not very useful. I think I'm going to do another run with the humans just to get some more points. This would be cool to get the ship bomb. Sweet. Oh, I bet we can get the Roki this time too, because how fast we can go. The, the little golems were actually one of my um, my favorite um, enemies to draw because they're really they're a lot easier to animate than a lot of the other things because they're just like a rigid body so that was really happy that made me really happy to just not have to actually animate the movingness of them and they're also really satisfying too like the big the big uh, the big golems have like the bobbing head and everything too so I'm a fan. Meow, thank you, Purr. So this is actually another um, Patreon quest that I have. Um, that is that is my friend's cat, who is one of my patrons, and she wanted her cat Coco Puff in the game. So Coco Puff is in the game. Okay, what did we need for this up here? Did we see this quest already? I can't remember if we did. I can't remember if that was last, no, we haven't. So this one is Friendo, the other one is Buddyo. The purple one is uh, Buddyo. Hey there, space person. I have this puzzle in this ship part. Think you can help me out? I think so, buddy. No, I have some really uh, cool ideas on how um, those puzzles can be more complicated and interesting as well. Ish inspiration for those puzzles actually came from uh, one of my favorite games, um, Bioshock. I really like how they have like the little mini game puzzles for the hacking in the original Bioshock. So that's where um, I had the idea to add like in-game puzzles like that because that was really satisfying to play. Oh, we are killing it on time. Oh, man. Yeah, we're definitely going to get the rookie this run. We had pretty good quest roll, too. We want repair packs. There's some up here. Ooh. Let's go ahead and get this upgrade, too. I guess we don't really need it, but it's, it feels good to get upgrades, so. Repair ship, we should need one more. So as I was saying earlier, each um, ship has three different states of repair, so that's in the second state of repair. That's actually my least favorite thing to, to draw, is the uh, the big ships, because they're just, they're so much bigger than a lot of the other things that are in the game. And you have to draw three images for each thing, so it's 
can get tedious. Sweet. So yeah, we're gonna get the Roki here too. I don't wanna talk to you. Ooh, okay. So, sweet. So how are we doing? We've got three. Uh, we got two with the human and one with the um, Ukin. Yeah. We didn't get the Slugula. Oh, we could have got the Slugula if we would have spent more time on that map. <sighs> Dang, we should have done that. Okay, we got the Roki now too. Let's try them out. The Roki are fun. So, um, some lore for the Roki. The Roki are actually a newer race. They actually came out in an ability this past year, um, earlier this year they came out. And um, the Roki are a, they're a smaller like rat race, as you can see. And um, the whole thing behind them is that they're really scrappy and they like um, repairing stuff and they're very uh, industrious. And the cool thing is, is that their their home planet has a lower um, amount of oxygen on it than typical. So they are able to breathe in a lot more harsher environments and they don't need as much shielding from the the emptiness that is space. So like you can see his little tail sticking out because he doesn't really care that it's sticking out in space. He just needs kind of something to keep a little bit of pressure because it's, his home planet's pressure isn't that high even so he's he's fine with it um but yeah so they're really um they like they're very scrappy and they like repairing things they're often found as like mechanics and stuff so their special ability is they can generate repair packs so it makes it super easy in the end game or if your ship gets damaged you can easily just repair your ship oh look at that quest right off the bat also their gun is um not as good as the humans or the Ukans gun. Well, it, it's 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 different, right? Because they have a more of a high-powered rifle that takes longer to shoot, and it shoots faster. So it can be trickier to play with because it shoots more of a straight line, so it's harder to curve it around planets. And then also, um, it has a larger charge time, so it's harder to get. So we got a chew toy quest again. So with all this lore I'm, I'm saying to you, I'm not just making it up on the spot, I promise. Um, <laughs> the a planned feature uh, in the very near future as well for um, for Oz is we want to have like in-game, like so this is the sluggy unlock here. Uh, we want to have in-game uh, lore items that you can get and like you collect them and after viewing those, then you can go to like a wiki that says, um, oh, this is the uh, the snake, the snake snake people, and like it tells like history and, and like backstory on them and stuff like that. So, oh, there's a ship part. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, oh we need some of these for the quest for the doggo. Oh. slime ball. Combat's so hard with these guys. They do a little bit more damage though than um, the other ones because it's a rifle. It's just harder to hit them. Did I already get three? I think I only got two, so I'm gonna keep getting them. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I love the rat race, pun intended. <laughs> I dig it. 
Oh, this is another quest. It's gonna be to get him. Might as well kill him. I think it is at least. Yeah. Oh man, I'm already low in health. Help! There's a big bad guy nearby. Please kill him. Okay, Mr. Snail. Some of the hitboxes are off on a little bit on some of the bigger creatures. It took me a minute to figure out the puzzle. It made me feel smooth brain, but I got it. <laughs> no, I like I like like I was saying earlier, I really like the idea of having um, puzzles interjected into action games like this because it, it's a it's a good change of pace and it really like keeps you on your toes it makes you think a little bit different Ooh, we should get that max health on energy actually let's get that sweet Oh, we're doing pretty good on health now, though. Also, we want to find the, the Slugula upgrade here. Because we should have enough time to get it, and I think we already have the stuff we need for it. Slime balls! Uh, actually, this makes me shook. I won't. I won't use this. Take this anyways. Thank you. All right, thank you. We haven't checked out this planet yet. Let's pick up the cat collar. Nothing here. Let's check it over here. Ooh, there it is. Oh, look at how good we're doing now. Okay, this is a puzzle. See, I'm better at puzzle games. This should just all be puzzles. I'd be way better at it than this combat stuff. Ooh. We need some more resources if we're gonna do the... Um... This one I think was, I said it was Frendo. Yeah, I think this one's Frendo. Let's see. Oh, we got another puzzle. This is perfect. Oh man, we're gonna do such good on time now. Thank you, that puzzle is really bugging me. Here's that ship part. Oh. Got that. All right. We got three more. Oh, we might actually not make it three more. Yeah, we could do one per minute. It'd, it'd be fine. There's another radar pack that would be useful. Yeah, we haven't been like anywhere on the bottom of the map yet, so I bet that's where it is. Let's go over here, yeah. We checked out that. If we checked out, oh, we didn't check it up here yet either. Oh, and, that, and there's something up there too. Oh, we fell back down. No, yeah, I, like I was saying earlier, I really like the idea of making the the fall damage more because we need some iron. Easy. Um, because you have the instant stop, so it, it shouldn't be too punishing, but it just gives you that little moment of panic when you're flying really quickly at a planet. 
this is that middle part. Sweet. And I bet the last ones are up here, so we want to go up that way. Well, there's actually a radar pack up there, so that'd be a good get to confirm. So we want a little bit more fuel because I think we need. And then we want rocks too because that's what we need for the slugular quest. So we'll try to kill some of these guys. So using a little bit of that developer uh, knowledge there to pre prepare myself. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got we got a pat we got a room down now. Oh, got to break it though. Ooh. Oh, did we get the rock from the last guy we killed too? I think we did. That was a good answer right there. Okay, so. Part over here. Then we go down here. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, thank you. Here's a reward. Okay. Not sure what he wanted, but oh yeah, but he wanted the souls because I had the three souls. That was probably the souls quest again. That's exactly what he wanted. I might not have time to try to do the... Oh no, come back. Oh no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be close. I don't think I'll have time to do that. All right, what do you want for, bro? Hey, I found the ship part thingy. Can you hack this for Oh, okay, yes, I can hack this for you. Uh, maybe? Oh, jeez, okay, I'm panicking. Oh no. Sweet. We got Florbo by doing that quest. I'm really sad I didn't get the Slugula. Oh no, I really wanted to get them. See, this is where the rat race comes in, co in helpful, right? You don't think a repair pack's useful skill right there, just generated one. Bam, now we can win it. Okay, so we have 70 seconds to try to find the um, Slugula. I bet it's on that planet. Or we can get there. Oh, this might not be a bad plan. I bet we can do it though. I believe. That's not helpful. Um, no, okay, it's not there. What other planet? Oh, we had to check out that planet. Wanna go up there, okay. We might have missed it on one of the other planets. Oh no, okay, so we need to get back so we can finish it. It's down that way. Okay. Yeah. This should be. Oh no, okay, 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 go, 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 go. Oh, it's gonna be really close. Oh no, oh no. Okay, okay. I had four seconds left. Okay. That was close. Um, okay, I think with that, we're going to take like a quick like five-minute break. So go get water, go use the restroom, whatever you got to do. And uh, we'll be right back.
All right, friends, I have returned. Before we get started back, I need the controller. Before we get started back, let's see how well we've done so far. So live four times. I think three of those with the humans, though, so that doesn't really count. Killed 61 enemies, that's quite a few. 25 quests, 103 minerals mines, 27 parts. We only died four times. We had a 50% win rate, and we got 130 credits so far. Well, if I would have just saved up, I could have had a ship bomb by now. Although I wouldn't have had that many credits because the ship bomb would have, because um, I would have, I wouldn't, I would have died more. Right? So we have 70 right now. What I think the play might be, what I think the play might be, is, I mean, we do have Florbo unlocked now. So. We could play Florbo, or we could do another run with the humans to try to get um, the Slugula, and then we can get, because if we get Slugula, then we get all the races, and then if we do that, then uh, we can get the bomb drop too. So Slugula can be real tricky. So let's try that. Oh, oh, nope. Okay, the map, there's a plant right there. Let's go check that one out. Oh, look at how lucky we are there. So we need a couple more resources to do that. My stream, my game looks like it's jittering a little bit after this. I think I'll restart the game and see if that's causing problems. I lost my ship. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, it's over there. It's coming back around. Remember where that thing was? I think it was. I think it was down there, wasn't it? Wasn't it on that second planet? I don't think it was. We'll find it. Yeah, it was. What do we need? We need a couple more blues. We need some more yellows. We need some more rocks. Come on, you didn't need to hit me. Okay. Let's go over here. We got four of them. Oh, no, no, no. No snake. Okay, so. Hey, I found the ship part thingy. If you can hack this for me, I'll give you it to you. So we want that, 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 we need that, slot it right in. All right, four both, thank you. Oh, that was too fast, it's okay. We're on the lookout for rock people as well. Need them for the slugular quest. Okay, we need this. Hey, there's. Oh man, we're getting so lucky. And this game knows that I wanted the puzzles because I'm good at those. Oh no. Ooh. He was attacking me while I was in the puzzle. I beat it quickly though. Mm -hmm. 
so we were okay. All right, now we need. We still need the rock people. Florbo's over there. He just did his quest. Go ahead and do this quest over over here. Oh, I was not been paying attention to my health. Okay. Did we get him? Okay. There's one more. I'm really scared. There we go. Oh, he didn't die. This guy's coming for me, though. I don't think that Annihilator wants to attack me. I don't think it. It's fine. Oh! I spoke too soon. He definitely did want to attack me. <laughs> Dang. Okay, we got like, what, two credits for that? Because we need two quests. Dang, all right. I feel like the humans are the easiest, but I've had not great luck with them. Oh wait, no, I was gonna, yeah, I'm gonna restart my game real quick because there's a little bit of stuttering going on. But I think it's my computer and not the, it's not the game. Of course it's not the game. Cause yeah, I actually have like a really not good computer uh, on purpose. Uh, that's how I justified it myself because the way I see it is that if I can run, uh, my my coding and um, game making tools while the game is running then and the game still runs at 60 fps then it's going to run on pretty much anything because my computer is not good so the fact that it's able to stream is pretty pretty impressive to me Oh, that's yeah, that's that's much better. I closed out Chrome too because anyone who's used Chrome for any amount of time understands that if Chrome is open, <laughs> it just does not want to do anything, right? So, all right, so we're gonna do. Oh no, no, we're gonna do Duken. All right, so. We probably want to go up here first. Check this out. Yeah, no, double lag's going on. It's definitely Chrome that's doing it. I don't know what, what Chrome does. It's just the longer you leave it open, it just keeps using more and more of your resources. Oh, jeez. Never had it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at, look at this. Oh man, we're about to speed run this right here. Ooh. Okay, I might be trying to go too fast. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself here. Okay, so. Oh, hey, bud. Oh, something I also want to add that um, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. It's something I've considered doing. Um, I'd be curious what uh, everyone thinks about it in general is adding like actual, um, like actually adding like a laser or something on the ship and actually have to fight things that fly around. But I'm not sure if that fits with the, the vibe of the game enough. Something I thought about early in development, but I haven't thrown it away yet. So if you guys have any thoughts on that, let me know. Well, if we unlock the sluggy level, we'll get a lot of um, credits because we get a lot of credits for getting achievements. Right, what do you want? Meow meow. Meow meow. Louis wants red crystals. 
We've seen red crystals. There's some right there. How lucky of us. Oh, that was only one. Okay. Sure. Okay, so we gotta find... Oh, wait, no, there's another one on the ground that we just did not pick up. Sure. Smart, smart monkey over here. Sweet. Thank you, Louis. What is, what did he, oh, we, we did that. We, why didn't we get the part? I remember doing that though. We did do that quest. Oh, must have just not been thinking. Oh geez, what am I doing? Oh, geez. I hungry. I cannot eat big ship part. Bring snack. I give ship part. I really like, like, this guy was really fun to animate. Just like having the saliva like slosh around in his mouth and stuff. He was, oh man, oh man, they're coming for me. Oh, geez, okay. Oh, he's gonna, he's come from the other side. Oh. Okay, okay. I see you sneaky rocket. Oh. So a fun kind of unintentional feature, I, I wouldn't call it a bug. It's an unintentional feature. That's kind of fun is um, when you get a planet with just the right gravity and you shoot things at just the right thing, you'll actually put the lasers into orbit. And um, that can be fun because what happens then is you have lasers in orbit. So what happens if you your ship can get hit by them, which is kind of fun. So that, that was what I was talking about earlier. I like the idea of like having planets that are hostile for your ship to go to because they have some sort of like orbital defense on the planet or something. I like that idea a lot. We could use this. We only have one health as well. We need to find some health. There's a radar pack here. We're, we must be on behind a rock. Yeah, it is behind this rock. Sweet. Hello, doggo. Twice more pizza? I love pizza. Please bring me some pizza. All right, we'll bring you some pizza. Some pizza on the main planet here. Pizza, take this. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, there's health. Okay, sweet. Oh, no, no. Okay, it didn't fly away. That was good. Very fortunate. So it is actually harder to find um, the the Slugula quest because there's more planets when you play as Ukin or the other races that have larger ships because there has to be more planets for your quest to actually be on. Oh, we need a snack crate for you. 
yeah i was too i was too busy marveling at how much i liked it <laughs> oh geez how much i liked his um saliva coming out of his mouth that i didn't even go get him a snack crate all right so we want that snack crate and then he's straight down there he is oh man our ship's gonna die too be careful about that Yum, yum, yum. I can eat this. Take not chummy ship part. Take not yummy ship part. Yeah, my grammar's not great either, but like, I think he would speak like that if he was, was actually speaking to us. That's, that's how I get away with having like really bad grammar is that like um, in spelling. Because I just say that it, it's canon that they wouldn't know how to speak right. I actually did that intentionally in um, inevitability. I had the Ukin like have things like intentionally really poor grammaticized because it made sense for the Ukin to have really poor um, when they're trying to speak like, English. But um, too many people said it, it. They just thought that it made the game weird. So they didn't get the lore reasons, and they just thought that it was bad grammar. So they, I changed it to where they had better. That's my story anyway, I was thinking about it. Ooh, okay, we found him, okay. We need three more fuel and, oh, we already have the yellows here. We just need some more fuel. Ooh, okay, okay, this is doable. This is doable. Although we're not doing good on the ship part time, so that's not doable probably, but it's okay. Uh, it's okay. If we unlock Slugula, I will be happy. I really should put the minerals on the mini map, the, the, the big map, because that would make things useful. Oh, this is where we just were. Okay, I'm dumb. We want to go here. Acquire from here. Timer, I see you. I see that you're at three minutes. Am I worried? A little bit. Sweet. So we got that fuel now. So I'm gonna actually go back down there right away to just prioritize that. Oh, let's actually do this. Okay, we want to go straight down, yes. And it should be right here, oh, no. Sweet. Yes. Lock Slugula. As you can see, I'm actually, so, paying the butt for doing um, development, development work on achievements is um, you can only unlock them once, right? So it doesn't matter. You can't just, Steam won't let you reset that. So you have to like, just keep. Is there a ship part? I thought I saw a ship part down there. Um, you have to keep either making new accounts to test it or um, just be really careful about when you test it to make sure it's going to fire right. Like, be really sure, like, okay, this is going to work 100%. And then you don't have to test it as many times. So, And yeah, no, so I'm on a, a different account than I developed on, so I didn't have any achievements before this stream intentionally so you guys can see like a fresh look of what it's like with without any of the achievements i don't think we're gonna win this one we're, we're gonna try we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try oh we actually have a shot okay where's the repair pack oh, there's some over there oh okay well we beat it with four seconds left that last time i think we're really valid 
that same time frame. Okay, and then it's over here. Okay, here. Okay, okay, okay. Repair. Shit. And then we need one more. Oh, you're gonna have to fly up here and hope it's one of these two. Question marks. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. Oh, we got this. Oh. 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 Come on. Oh, that's so satisfying. Oh, man. Oh. So we had one four second finish and we had a 13 second finish right there. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so good news. I think we have enough upgrades to get the ship bomb now. Oh, we don't. We're seven short. Um, it's really tempting to buy like the explosive bullets or something, especially because we're about to play the Slugula. Because the Slugula are a little tricky, and I'll, you'll see why once we start playing them. But they're a little bit trickier. So the Slugula, since we're doing lore as we go through each of the races, the Slugula are actually... Um, who the humans made first contact with. So the, yeah, so they made first contact with the Slugula. And the Slugula, basically, they're a very um, entrepreneurial and industrious race. Um, well, not industrious is the wrong word because they use a lot of like slave labor, essentially. And they just are kind of a slimy uh, businessman. It's essentially the, the, the lore of the Slugula. So just slimy little businessmen boys but anyways the slugular uh, their special ability is they can heal as they are just made of like globs of slime they can regenerate that so that's a, a fun feature of the slugular um so the slugular are a little different so their um their melee attack they don't not melee, their, their range attack is just a little spit so you see he just does a little spit out there because they're not really built for combat right like they they want to be um and trading posts and stuff. So like your two options are either you fly above people and like you drop mortars on them, or you just be really good about not dying. So. But luckily they have one of the easier ships since they're the like they're they're potentially the second race you unlock and play, so Cheat toy, okay. Oh no no no! Oh. That's really stressful when you start to lose your ship and it just starts flying off in this space. I forget what a game it was. I was playing another game the other day, and it had like it was a space game because I love space games. Um, but like you could fly away from your ship, and it was really terrifying. When it happened. Thank you, that puzzle was really buggy. There's a ship part. Ooh, that makes me think. I actually have um, one of the one of the future planned races might have something to do with uh, bugs. It could be pretty exciting. Like there's some pretty neat mechanics that I have ideas for too with that. Wants the red over here. All right, we'll get you the red. Oh, that radar pack must be behind a rock somewhere. Yeah, it is. It's probably one of these rocks.
Oh, there's a part. Sweet. The ones you randomly find are always just really satisfying to get. Need the red for you. What do we need for this other guy? Oh, we need the slime balls. Okay, so we need the slime balls and the red. There's some. Okay, we have. He needed five red, right? Yeah. So this might be enough to get. Oh, we got so lucky we didn't get any combat quests because we would have not done well with that. Although, I say that and I'm just trying to get myself killed over here. Oh no. Okay. So we are looking for slimes and globs. We must have already been to this planet. It has a bunch of question marks on it, so maybe we haven't. Dust, okay. There's some down there. That's where we need to go. It's down there. Oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> There's more red. Okay, I think we have enough red now for Louis, who's right over there. So let's go get bring that to him. Oh. I was trying to do a trick move there and like hop out and hop back in. Oh no. Okay, the ship's on the other side of the planet. Let's come back around. Oh no. Oh jeez. Okay, we'll get it next pass. Okay, come to your ship. Come on. Is it doing another pass? Oh, there's some guys coming. Okay. There we go. Sweet. We we're lucky it just didn't get shot off to another place and we had to go chase it down somewhere. Check those planets. here. Some rock boys here. Some snake boys here. Oh, we must have missed that planet. Let's... Oh, which one could it be? It must be that one over there. I remember going to that one. Oh, I should have been paying attention earlier. We're trying to find the planet that had the slimes on it. Alright, so we want to go down here. I try to catch my ship, it didn't work. It's not this one. I'll be so mad. It's going to be the last one I find. 
have plenty of time for my incompetent self. So a fun fact, originally they're um they were gonna be a originally they were a um gonna be like a melee um race, the the slugger bear. But um it was way too uh, way too frustrating to try to do melee combat with how the physics work in this game. Right, because like you would have to run up to him, bite him, and then like jump away, and it was it wasn't really satisfying. So instead, we just decided to make him have like a, a short range like spin attack like that. But you can see in his animation how it, it still kind of looks like he's trying to bite. But we changed it a little bit so it looks like he's like like putting his his bottom lip up to to spit out of it. Doggo. I don't know where they are, man. I, I search everywhere. Oh, jeez. What are you doing, Rockman? I, I haven't been here so long. How did you remember me? How, how did you remember me? You are too smart to be a Rockman. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I died. Uh, did we get enough for the... Oh, we're five away from getting the uh, from getting the ship going. That's what we're saving up for. So I think the ship bomb will make it so we can easily beat Sluggy there. Doggo's super cute. I know the doggo doggo is probably one of my favorite things drawn. Doggos are I, I can't say this. Doggos are a um, actually the next planned race to be. As playable, that is. I have a really cool idea for their ship design, too. It's gonna be really cute, so. Got that. Let's get that cat collar in case we have that quest. Look at that. Okay, sweet. Oh man, can we beat this in like under two minutes? I think my fastest time in developing and in, in beating it was about the two minutes that I could successfully beat it with the, the mids. Although that was with me making it so I had a couple more easier quests because I was, I was testing out easier quests at the time. Killed it, right? Yeah, we did. I thought we had. Oh. Hey, my name is Bucket. I'm with the Bucket Bucket Space Travel Agency. I seem to have lost the keys to my bus. Could you find them for me? I have a part of the ship I can turn and turn. Give me a try. I already got the key. Look at that. Thank you. Can't wait to run, travel in my new bus with people here. This is part of your ship. Thank you, Buck. Ooh. 
at this look at this record time over here. And there's a repair pack there. Oh, no, it's the wrong button. That was the wrong button. Okay. Oh, there's three right there. Woo! Let's that's reverse off. We got the light on. Nope. Almost missed it. To repair ship. It's up there, yeah. Just brain farting for a second. So good feature idea that we got actually earlier today on our Discord was um, to have like a one of you know how you have the little arrows uh, when you get the radar packs is to have um, a one of those that's very subtle that points back to where your your home planet is all the time. So it's easy to do things like we just did there, which is. Um, So close. I think it's yeah, because we reach. We're only being a human. The humans don't give that. Mm -hmm. so. Could do another Roki run or Florbo. I mean, Florbo is everyone's favorite. We still haven't beat it with Slugula. I thought we. Oh no, we didn't beat it with Slugula or Florbo. I thought we did beat it with Florbo. Oh, we haven't played Florbo yet. That's what it is. I don't think we have played Florbo yet. So Florbo, yeah, because I don't think we have played Florbo yet. So Florbo is the only of, so an ability had five races in it, which was the human nuke and slugula from Tower in the Room. So Florbo is the first new edition of uh, playable races for uh, Operation Zeta in, in, this, in this universe. And Florbo was actually made for operations, but Florbo is basically, um, he is quite mysterious and there is a, a few of his kind, you presume, they all seem like they have different colors, but there's not multiple of his type. So instead of him being a race, he's a character, right? So he's a reoccurring character that's seen in the battlefield and you'll find out why once we add the in-game lore items to what Florbo's really up to and what Florbo's doing. But Florbo, like like everyone else, had a ship in the, in the fight and was responsible for that. So Florbo's ability, Florbo actually has the largest ship of, of everyone else in the game. So we're probably not gonna complete it here. But Florbo's ability is that he can automatically detect a part every um, minute and a half. So we can just do what a radar pack would do. Florbo's getting a quest with Florbo. I love it. Oh, no. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no. When I first started making Florbo's ship, which is just a giant F, I thought it might be a little bit on the nose, but I kind of like it. I've grown to like it as I've played around with Florbo more. So he's just going to stay as a giant F. There's another Florbo quest. I swear, it's not. <laughs> it's not intended that um, you get two Florbo because there's only two Florbo quests in the game um, that you get both the Florbo quests while playing as Florbo. Just, I guess, Maximum Florbo going on here. Change the stream name to Maximum Florbo. Ooh, that's a big blob asking me quest.
Oh, and then we have, um, what is his name? I'm blanking on what that is. It's one of, um, Floba's brethren. Again, I'm not going to spoil it. He's fun. There's him, and then there's Clowno as well. Which we've seen Clowno. Clowno has the um, one of the puzzle quests. Let's go check out this one because we haven't yet, apparently. Oh. There's two planets down here to check out. We'll go check them out. Oh. Oh, we need the key. I think we left that on the main planet. Yes, we did. Sweet. Thank you, Bucker. So if you can notice, um, the floor bro has a similar design to the, uh, the human ship. There's reasons for that as well. Be mysterious. It's, it's taking me a long time to tell you guys about all this hidden floor bro lore that's going on here, but it's in depth. The floor bro is the key to the universe over here. Oh jeez, okay, we need this here. Sweet. Oh, we have 102 credits now. It's tempting. Okay, no, we gotta try to beat the floor bro. Let's get this ship bombed up. Ooh. Oh, this is actually the bottom one, yep. And blind. Nope, 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 nope. Floor boat. I haven't been using his ability. I'm silly. Oh, come on, floor boat. You're not cooperating here, floor boat. Alright, thank you. Oh, there's a quest here, yeah. You want a fuel crate? Okay, float bro. Have we seen a fuel crate yet? I don't think we have. No, it does not look like we have. We can use some solid for his body. No Rockman. We saw Rockman earlier. So they're on a planet that we've already gone to. So we gotta keep an eye out for the Rockman. We already did you. Still recharging our special as well. And we'll wanna go over yeah, we wanna go over here. Oh, not here. We want to go here. Yes. Oh, there's some rockmen. Okay, so kill them. Floor boat. We're not doing good on time or health for floor boat right now. 
be able to do it with a ship bomb, though, I'm telling you. And we'll be able to get the ship bomb if we die, so. But you probably shouldn't have shot that guy. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. We're doing all right. I think. Okay, let's get that rock. Okay. We know where four ship parts are. I think we have like five left though. No, we only have four left, so we know where all the last four are. We know we need the, what was it, the fuel crate? One of the items that we need that we're looking for. Oh, there's a part, nice. That's convenient. me skimming off the surface of the planet there. Hmm. What did he want? Oh, he wanted those. We got that. Oh, yes, we did. Yes, indeed, you dandy. All right. He needs the crate, which we don't know where that is. We're doing all right on time now with how fast we're going now, though. So facing, yeah, so it's this one that we want. Ouch. Okay, yeah. Oh man, so we had, what was it, two four bows? We had the other four bow and a clowno. So that's all of the Florbo um, clan in this run, Florbo. This is the Florbo run, is what this is. Oh, we need the fuel crate. I keep forgetting that. I keep flying towards it. Oh, it's probably... Oh, that's Snacker. It's down there. It was on that planet we were just on, and I didn't even bother to look. Jeez. Come on, Florbo. This is definitely Florbo's fault, not mine. I keep going this way. Thank you. Oh no, that's not. I keep blanking on what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get this crate. Oh, nope, just missed it. Four, four bell. Come on, grab it. Grab it, there we go. You wanna go to this? No, we just got truth here at this point, man. <laughs> I'm just beating up this crate. Luckily the crate can add, can actually break, but I would hit it against the ground a bunch of times. We should be okay on time. It's gonna be close. I think we got it. I think we're gonna get that floor bow victory here. Oh, oh, maybe not. Come on, come on, snap it in. Okay, we need a repair crate. There's two on the planet below us. Okay. other one and then we're going to be home free. Oh, it's going to be great. Okay. And repair ship. Look at that. 
We don't even need to we beat Florbo first time we tried him. We don't even need to use the F for for to pay our respects for Florbo dying. That's great. Yeah. Look at that. We beat Operation Zeta's Florbo. It's hype. Okay, so now, you know it's more hype. We need the ship bomb. Yes. <laughs> Um, we have a lot more plans for uh, to fill up the screen with, with upgrades that we want to do in general. <sighs> There's a lot of fun things we can have that you can end up purchasing there. Okay, we didn't beat it with Slugula yet, right? I don't think we did. So we can do the ship bomb with them. So ship bomb now, we have Y. We can literally just drop bombs on the planet. It's so nice. Like I said, it's, it's kind of a risk, um, a risky thing to do, especially if it's easier against the, like the snakes, but like like right there, for example, they can hurt our ship and the ship isn't necessarily as equipped to take damage as much. Also, it does take a good bit more time too. It takes a good bit more time to drop the bombs on things. Oh no, that, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, because I went into this puzzle. Oh no. No, he didn't. Oh, he's attacking the ship. Oh, you animal. Okay. Don't, what are you doing? Yeah. He almost broke our ship. Oh man, what a guy. Yeah, see, that's what I'm telling you. The bombs are risky because they'll go after the ship if they see the ship as a threat. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we're just starting our first run with the ship bombs here, so we're just gonna do that. Oh, dude, look at look how lucky that is. Oh my gosh, that is massive luck right there. The ship part fell on the, the spawn planet. Get it in, there we go. Okay, we need two more. Lulu is on top of the red too. We want, yeah, let's go there. There's no sweet. So we're gonna head back to Louie. Yeah, we got that. We'll fly up here. Boom, boom. We want to go over. Oh, no, no, no. We should check out that planet first, right? Doing so good this run. Oh my gosh. Oh, this big glob, that means there's a quest here. Actually, let's let's be smart about this. Keep getting bit up. Oh yeah, there we go. Kill. Oh nope. Don't do that. Do not attack my ship. Nope. None of that. Ooh, 
thank you. Look at that, we're already back up to 23 credits from purchasing that. Oh, no, 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 let's not repair yet. Let's wait till we get all the parts. Oh, we know where it is. Why are we not following the arrow? It's here. What do we need? That's a puzzle. Okay. Into that. And that. And that. And that. And that. All that. There we go. We want the repair packs, which there was one right under it. I remember that. Yeah, I'm smart. Okay. And then where was the other one? There's one over there. Over there. Yeah. Ship. <gasps> We're gonna beat it. Yes, we have so much time left too. Look at that. Oh yes. Oh no. It crashed. <laughs> okay, that's something we need to look into. Um, so when the game crashes, if that it's early access, but um, whenever that happens, there is a log file that you can look at to fix. So. It's really like thing. Oh. Anyways, friends, I think we're going to end the stream on that. Um, thanks for coming to hang out with me today and celebrate the launch. Okay, Louis, the real Louis has decided to make an appearance now. This is where he likes to sit a lot of times when I'm, when I'm working. He likes to sit over there and make sure I'm doing good work and drawing him into the game and such. So, um, But yeah, so uh, that's Operation Zeta. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to reach out to me on our Discord or uh, if you have any questions, if any more questions or anything, any more feedback, anything you'd like to see in the game in general. Um, we also have a Patreon. If you saw, I call out a couple quests that were added by patrons. So if you're a patron, you automatically get a free quest. And that means I'm going to draw assets for you and you're going to be in the game and it can be whatever you want. Like pretty much anything you want in the game. So um, yeah, no. Hopefully this recorded. I think it did. And I'm going to post it on YouTube. So you guys can watch back if you missed anything. Or that. Um, yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Uh, me and Louie. And say bye. So have a good night. I'm going to actually go fix those, uh, those crashes and bugs that we saw.